So pretty hectic game between the Blues and Wild last night, to say the least. Before I get into the video, though, I just want to say another massive thank you to all of you for helping me surpass 200 subscribers. It really means a lot, and I will keep trying to improve my content and stay consistent. So let's pick it up with just over 15 minutes to go in the second period with the Blues up 3-1. to one. The Wild end up scoring three goals in just under two minutes to take the lead 4-3. to three. Craig Berube would then take a timeout, and you just see him laying into his team here. Right after the timeout, though, you see Bennington start getting into it with Mason Shaw as he skates back to his net. This would be just a taste of what was to come later in the period. The timeout would prove to be beneficial, as the Blues would tie the game with about 8.5 minutes left in the second period. Only a minute later, though, the Wild would add a power play goal to take the lead 5-4, to four, and here's where things got out of hand. After scoring the goal, Ryan Hartman skates over to celebrate with his team, and accidentally clips Jordan Bennington's pad with his foot in the process. I really don't think Hartman did this on purpose, and I don't think there was any intention behind this. You can even see Justin Falk here start to skate over like he's going to do something, but then just backs off after he probably realized it wasn't a big deal. Bennington proceeds to completely lose it and skates right over to Hartman and blockers him right in the face. A scrum would ensue, and wild goaltender Marc-Andre Fleury would come all the way down the ice and try and scrap with Bennington. They were both ready to go, but the linesman held them both back and didn't let it happen. I honestly can't believe they didn't let them go. I think this would have been so entertaining to watch, but they just were not having it. After the play was reviewed, Bennington and Fleury would both receive two-minute minors for leaving the crease, but Bennington would also receive a five-minute match penalty which meant his night was over. It was announced this morning by the NHL Department of Player Safety that Bennington would have a hearing today for roughing slash unsportsmanlike conduct. As of the time of this recording, there has been no update on any sort of discipline that Bennington will be receiving. Bennington has a history of being hot-headed and losing his temper. Back in February 2021, as I'm sure many of you remember, after being pulled against the San Jose Sharks, he shoved a player on the Sharks, threw a fake punch at Eric Carlson, and then proceeded to try and scrap with Devin Dubnik on his way off the ice. Bennington has really struggled the last two seasons for the Blues, posting a 901 save percentage and a 3.13 goals against last season, and so far this season, he only has an 892 save percentage and a 3.39 goals against. Bennington was lights out in the 2018-2019 season, posting a 927 save percentage and a 1.89 goals against in just 32 games, and then he led the St. Louis Blues to their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. I don't know if Bennington has always been this way, or maybe he's just been frustrated as of late due to his play, but in my opinion, he really needs to focus more on his game and stop acting out like this. The Wild would add three more goals after Bennington was ejected and would take the win 8-5. Let me know your thoughts below on this whole situation. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching.